What's up guys, I'm back once again to show you some of the hot mods of the week and in this week's episode we have a couple of brand new workshop items as well as a couple of brand new weapon mods but to kick things off we have Windows 4K and this of course is by the same mod author that's done pretty much every retexture for the past few episodes so you know that this is going to be one high quality retexture now at the moment this mod does not retexture every single window in the game it is currently a work in progress but it seems that the goal of the mod author is to retexture every window in the game. And at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if they retextured everything in the game. Now, the next mod I have for you is Water Wheel Power. And what this mod is going to do is add two water wheels to the workshop. And I don't just mean a static piece that doesn't actually do anything. These water wheels will actually generate power for your settlement. Of course, taking a look at the generator section of the workshop, we can see the two water wheels themselves and they're going to cost you a small amount of crafting materials and require you to have science one now apart from looking fantastic generating power and actually moving my favorite thing about these water wheels is the fact that they snap together like a piece from the actual game but just be careful about putting them too close together or you might encounter some slight clipping but regardless i absolutely love these water wheels and I'm surprised there's nothing like this in the vanilla game. In fact, I'd even go as far as to say that if you showed someone that had never played Fallout 4 these water wheels, they would also think that they were part of the vanilla game. And in fact, I kind of wish they were. They're not especially overpowered, they only produce 4 power, and are also locked behind having science 1. So you really aren't going to be getting these too early in the game. And of course, this week's weapon mod is the P94 Plasma Rifle, and you can acquire this weapon on Brotherhood of Steel or Gunner Bodies after level 21. And in terms of upgrades, you have a choice of an amazing 18 receivers, 3 barrels, 2 grips, 3 sights, and finally 5 materials. Now this may not be the single most customizable weapon in the world, but don't let that sway your opinion of this weapon. It is an absolute beast. Also, quality over quantity. Each upgrade is going to change the look of the weapon in a very noticeable way which I can really appreciate that or it's going to change the look of the projectiles coming out of the weapon what I mean by this is how you set the weapon up to be either full auto, shotgun or sniper with the right combination of receivers and barrels now water wheel power is not the only settlement item that we're going to be taking a look at in today's episode and with this next mod we're going to be re-adding the tank truck from Fallout 1 and 2 as a buildable object in your settlements and of course the mod that I'm talking about is Fallout Tank Truck. Now to get this item in your very own settlement, what you're going to need to do is open up the workbench and head to Decorations, Statues and it should be the first item that you come to and this is going to cost you a simple 2 steel. Now I think it goes without saying that the mod author has done an absolutely fantastic job in recreating the tank truck in Fallout 4, especially when you consider that the mod author probably didn't have too many high quality pictures to work with I mean the first game was released in 1997 and the second game in 1998 this means that all of the concept art for the tank truck is over 20 years old but anyway I think that's going to wrap it up for this mod on to the next one and the final weapon mod for this week's episode is the Fallout London Bren gun and you can acquire this weapon from gunners and from any weapon vendor after level 20 or you can do what I did and just use the console by typing help space bren space 4 into the console here you will find the weapons id code and typing player.addItem space id code will give you the weapon and in terms of upgrades you have the choice of 5 receivers, 1 barrel, 1 stock, 1 mag, 2 sights, no muzzles and finally a choice of bipod folded or unfolded now the first thing you're going to notice after using this weapon is just how much stopping power it actually has assuming you can actually hit your enemies now I may not be the single greatest shot in the world but I found that the iron sight design made it fairly difficult to actually aim at your enemies but with this being the case it simply encouraged me to be more aggressive which this weapon is definitely designed to do because like I said it can put out a lot of damage now it's at this point that I would normally wrap up the video but it only seems fitting to have this mod after looking at the Bren gun and that's because the next mod I have for you is Bren LMG add-on and what this mod is going to do 
is add several new upgrades to the Bren and what that's going to look like is 5 receivers, 3 barrels, 2 stocks, 3 mags, 3 rear sights, 2 muzzles including none, 3 front sights, 3 bipod options and finally 8 damage options to balance the weapon. Now despite the obvious increase in customization, the number one thing that I take from this is the sights. Being able to actually see my enemy when I'm shooting at it really makes this gun feel a lot better. But that is just my opinion. So if you think you might enjoy the Bren gun, then maybe this mod is worth a download. And with that, that's going to wrap it up for this mod and the video for that matter. I hope you all enjoyed the mods here today. And if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I hope to see you all in the next video.